Baby, you've not been picking my calls. Why? Welcome, baby. I am sorry I didn't pick up when you called. I was just angry. I didn't want to pass the aggression to you. Is it a problem from work? Hmm, don't worry about that. I can handle it. Come on, my love. We'll be married soon. So you should start to share your problems with me now. You told me you don't have any other man apart from me. And I still say that I don't have any other man apart from you. Why are you asking? How would you feel if you find out that I engaged another woman while still being with you? I would feel very bad. Good. Now, I want you to know how I feel right now, even though I know you are innocent. What are you talking about? Your ex fiancé came to my house today. Emerson came here? Yes, and he said all sorts of things. He said you spent the night at his place yesterday. That is a lie. I was at home all through yesterday. I didn't go anywhere. I believe you, my love. At first, I was angry. After all, it was your fiancé before. But I came to realize that he just wants to tear us apart and you are innocent. Thank you. I am totally innocent. Although he has been on my neck to take him back. So why didn't you tell me? I would have known how to reply him when he came. Babe, he's not worth your time. You should have easily called the security on him. I wanted to hear the rubbish he had to say. I am sorry for even thinking it was the truth. It's okay. I would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. So how far with the preparations? It's going pretty well. Not too much to plan since it's a court wedding. I told you to let a wedding planner do that for you, but you insisted on doing it. I am not complaining, my love. Just be prepared for that day. Have you had something to eat? I cooked. I am still full. Thank you, dear. Let me go get myself a drink. Okay. Do you need some? Yes, please. Okay, dear. Emerson, how dare you? Hey, easy pressure. Do you want to bring me down my house? How dare you? What rights do you have to go to my fiancé's house? Your fiancé, my foot. I'm the only fiancé you have. In your dreams, bro. You and I were done a long time ago. Sezu, baby girl, we are not done. Did you tell me you are leaving the relationship? Did you return my ring? Oh, so the ring is the reason for all this fuss, huh? Queen, I don't know how many times I have to say this. We are not done. You can't leave the relationship without informing me. Really? Obviously, I'm still in a relationship with you, so quit this nonsense you are doing and fix a date for us to meet so we can plan our wedding. <laughs> Try God, I don't suffer. After everything you did to me, now you want me back, huh? Baby, there is no one above mistake. I made a mistake and I'm apologizing. I'm sorry. Give me one more chance. I can't take back my old vomit, Emerson. You are my ex. I can't take you back. Besides, I'm in love with another. If this is about the slap I gave you in public, forgive me. It was just a slip of hand. I am not angry. I forgave you a long time ago. Just let me be, please. I love you and I want you back. I am in love with another man. My wedding is at the corner. Please stay away from me. I will not stay away from you. I promise you that wedding will not hold. Pick up, please. Joseph, please pick up. Hmm. So it has gotten to this point. I was the one he used to take out. Now Martha is the one going out with him. I feel so horrible. I can't believe I lost my husband to another woman. What is really my offense? Just because I want to stay beautiful for him? Hmm. Don't be selfish, Monica. Martha deserves to be loved. She cleans the house, washes the dishes cooks for him and still looks beautiful. And now, <laughs> she is carrying his child. I wish I had done all those things before her. Maybe my husband wouldn't have a reason to leave me. I feel so terrible. I once had a happy home, but now Joseph only spends time with her. I guess it's time I throw those drugs away and be a real woman. I hope that what you called me out here to discuss is important. Just give me a listening ear, please. I promise to be snappy. That is not my point. My point is that let whatever you want to say be important. Yes, it is. Go ahead, I am listening. My pregnant wife is waiting for me inside. 
I want to tell you that I have decided to throw those drugs away and never to take them again. Okay, good for you. Is that all? Don't do this to me, please. Let's just talk for a while. Don't you get it? My wife is waiting for me inside. I don't want to keep her waiting. Sweetheart, why are you taking so long to come meet me inside? Sorry, my love. Monica claimed to have something to discuss with me. But it's obvious she has nothing to say. Mata, forget about cleaning the house. I will do it myself. Really? Why should a slay queen like you clean the house? I wonder, do you want to stress your manicured hands? Don't worry, Mata. I will take up that responsibility. Baby, if she says she will do it, just let her do it. It is even for your own good, so you don't stress our baby. Okay, oh, Madam Slay Queen. You can take up the house responsibilities. Joseph, please, can I stay with you for a while? I miss you, and I want to be with you. Are you not going for shopping today? No, I want to be with you. Please, don't say no. I haven't been with you in a long while. No, you can't be with me. Martha needs me. She's pregnant. Why you are not? Thank you, baby. I really need you. I'm tired of standing here. My waist hurts. Let's go inside, please. Oh, I'm so sorry for stressing you. Let's go in. Okay. <laughs> Welcome there. What took you so long? I waited for you since morning. I'm really sorry I got delayed at the office. I just finished my work, so I had to rush down here. Who is this man with you? Oh, I almost forgot I came with someone. Good evening to you. Good evening. Who are you? And how can I help you? I don't know what is wrong with old man of today. I saw him on my way coming here. He followed me right from my house to this place. And you brought him to my house? I told him I am engaged, but he kept on following me just to get my number. So I brought him here for you to deal with him. Oga, what is really your problem? Didn't she tell you she has a fiancé? She is really beautiful. I can't just take my eyes off her. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear when she said she is engaged? I wonder. Oh. Let the lady excuse us. I have something to discuss with you. Oga, I don't know you from anywhere. And there's nothing for us to discuss. So get out of my house. Believe me, I have an offer for you. What kind of offer is that? You will find out soon. Let her excuse us for now. Let him say whatever he wants to say here. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Baby, don't worry. Just go. I will tell you whatever we discuss here. Okay, just be careful with men like this. I will. Okay. So now, it is just the both of us. What kind of offer do you have for me? I have to say this once again. Your fiancé is very beautiful. Go straight to the point. Yes, I will chase you out of my house. I am Senator Lawrence. I just came back from overseas because of a party that will be held here in Nigeria. And so? You know how it is. Parties are boring without ladies. What are you trying to say? Wait, it better not be what I think. I need your fiancé just for a night. I promise to pay you two million naira. Are you out of your mind? Does she look like a prostitute to you? No, she doesn't. That is why I decided to come see you personally. Leave my house. My fiancé is not for sale. I am not buying her. I need her just for a night. And I will travel back the next day. And you will never see this face again. With due respect, sir, my answer is a big no. I will increase it to 5 million naira. Get out of my house with your money. I don't need it. I love my fiancé. Not even money is enough to buy that we share. I will increase it to 7 million. Are you deaf? I said I don't need it. 10 million and that is the least I can go. I will spend just a night with her and you will never see me again. I, I, I don't know. My number is written on the, on that card. Call me when you make your mind.
Hi, Bill. Hi, ah, Monica. This seems like a dream to me. What a pleasant surprise. I hope I did not interrupt anything. No, you didn't. I am just surprised to see you. Please have a seat. Thank you. So what brings you of all people to my house? I am sorry for bothering you, but I feel you are the only good friend that Joseph has. What is the problem? I hope everything is okay with Joseph. Everything is fine with Joseph, but everything is not fine with me. Oh. I am devastated, Bill. I don't know what to do anymore, so I decided to come and see you. What is the problem? Talk to me, please. Are you aware that Joseph married a second wife? A second wife? That can't be, because I am not aware. I am very serious. Joseph brought in another woman to the house. For how long? It is getting to a week now. As a matter of fact, she is pregnant for him. Oh my God, I was not aware of this. In fact, Joseph has not been to my house for a long time now. You both had a problem. Not really. I had some problems to sort out. My wedding plans and stuffs. So there really is no time to call him. Please, Bill, help me. I love my husband. I don't want to share him with anybody. Hmm. And the lady is already pregnant for him. That is a great news, Sha. I can also do it. I am a woman. I can get pregnant as well. So it is not a big deal. I understand you, dear. You don't want to ruin your beauty. But don't worry. I will talk to him. Are you mocking me? Why should I do that? I promise to talk to him tomorrow. Thank you very much. I am counting on you. Okay. Please let me get you something to drink. No, don't bother. I came in a hurry. I want to go to the market and buy foodstuffs. You? Whatever. I have to go now.